Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to record the audio coming from your output of your Mac. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Safari and then or your web browser, whatever it is, go to Google and then type in Soundflower. I spelled that wrong, but oh well. Soundflower, then go down to the second one because the first one is somewhat complicated. Go down to the second link, which is Mac Update, and then click Download Now. It will also be in the download the description to the right. And then you want to download as well Audacity. Audacity, yeah. That will be also in the download description to the right. So after you've got those two things, you want to go and open up Soundflower, then click it in the menu bar, and then scroll down to Soundflower 16 channel. Click built in output, and then tick that. And then now Soundflower is set up. Now you want to go into Audacity and open up Audacity. Now let it load up. Now click Audacity Preferences. And then down here you want to change device, built in output. And then under recording you want to change the device to Soundflower. Click OK. Now it goes to System Preferences. Then go to Sound then go to output and then click Soundflower 16 channel so now everything is set up so now we're going to play a song actually I'll go to my YouTube channel which is right here and I'm going to play some of my lovely amazing voice and I shall record it so click play and then you want to click record on Audacity so you should be able to see the sound waves going up and down up and down and then just click stop when you're done and then when you play it back, it stops, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. And now when you play it back, it will go showing you an application called Cinch. What Cinch basically does is it's, um, if you use Windows 7, and hopefully you should be able to hear that. If not, you got to take my word for it. I can hear it. So you shall be able to too. And then after you've done that, you want to click, go back to System Preferences Sound, and then click Headphones because otherwise you won't be able to hear it. So then play it again, showing you an and you'll be able to called Cinch. What's and it? then go to File, Export, my lovely, amazing voice. And then you can save that as whatever file format you want, MP3, WAV, AIFF, AC3, sounds like a band, uh, WMA, M4A, any file you want, just click Save, and then it will save it for you. So there you go guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, hope it helps you, and also big thanks to Patrick Alex for sending this in to me for me to make a video on. So don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, and sorry if my voice sounds a little different, I'm ill at the moment, and that's why I haven't been making any videos. So there you go guys, those things that I just said, and see ya.